Hello friends, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So in this video, we are going to see how to install car packs or vehicle packs into your GTA 5. So this is going to work for you for the Epic Games version of GTA 5. So be happy about it. So I'll explain one by one what all software you require, what all software I have used. I'll show you my files as well. So there won't be any confusion at all. So first of all, you need to download and install this Open4. So actually, this is a program I'll just uh, show you very quickly. So basically, with this program, you can access the GTA 5 files. I mean, there are some hidden files. You can't uh, really access them with the Windows Explorer. So you need to install this GTA 4. Open4, it is called. So I'll just show you how it looks. Um, actually, there's a shortcut here. Open for in my desktop. So the thing is that um, while installing this software, it will ask you for your GTA 5 folder because it has to link itself to the GTA 5 folder. So that is one of the crucial steps. So make sure that you're selecting the GTA 5 folder properly. You have to just select where the GTA 5 folder is installed on your computer. That's it. So after you've installed it, like you can start this software and it will show you Grand Theft Auto 5 and you can see the folders for GTA very soon inside. I'll show you in detail. Now let's go to the next software what has to be downloaded. I'll show you this thing in more detail and sometime. So the next thing you need to install is a native trainer, enhanced native trainer. I'm personally using this one. You need to download this and just copy paste the files the files i'll show you in my gta 5 folder i will show you so once you install this then there are some um, you get like some options like these once you press f4 there will be some cars that will get like weather many more options all the beautiful options to teleport yourself i have not tried the teleporting thing but there are more options where you can enhance your game and you can make the most of your game like you can fix the car damage you can do a lot of things with that mod this is enhanced native trainer okay so then the third thing you'll require is the the vehicle mod so you can come to this website that is gta 5 mods and you can download the mod that you're looking for under vehicles you can see whichever mod you personally want which car you want like for example if you want this car you can download the file for this audi so in a similar fashion you can download for any car you get lamborghini that is audi r8 many more cars like there are a lot of cars like i mean i can't even tell you there are like around 600 results you can imagine how many cars are there right so these are the three main softwares and uh, the other softwares like the open hook V and all that like that is already there in your um, inside your GTA 5 I assume you have uh, watched my old GTA 5 mods video so anyways so once you have installed open 4V and um, first um, download the file for the this thing for the vehicle so as you can see, I've already downloaded it. Yeah, in the downloads folder, you have the Ducati file. Ducati, whatever is it. So you need to copy this. Copy files to clipboard and you need to paste it anywhere where you can easily access it in future. So for example, now I'm installing the Ducati file here. Ducati. 999 so I'll just uh, make sure I've kept it in a familiar place next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open GTA using the open for thing here it is I've already opened it here yeah. so click on the GTA 5 Windows thing because if you I'm, I'm personally using a Windows operating system so so once you click on that it will show you the GTA folder so I'm just waiting for it to load so 
so what i usually do is i i copy the file here i mean i usually go to the update then here there is some car pack actually i hope i go to the i normally get confused here so sorry for that so you can make a note of this directory gta5 update into 64 dlc pack so just remember this thing this thing is quite important or you can take a snapshot of this video um, so now you remember we have copied a file in on my desktop here ducati 999 So what I need to do next is you need to enable the edit mode here in Open Four. Just make sure you have enabled this. So once you have enabled it, you will be able to copy paste the folders inside here. So like for instance, you need the Ducati Triple Nine. So I'm just going to drag and drop that folder, and you can see here it's there. Here. So here I have it, like Ducati. Triple nine. Next step is to add the item. That is, the, you'll have to add this kind of line under DLC list dot XML. So uh, now you need to go to the mods update update dot RPF. This particular this particular file, and then we have to just rename. I'll show you. So let's go to the mods folder. Here I'm in under GTA Five mods. Double click on it. Update. Update our RPF, common and data. So then here you will file find the file DLC list. Okay. so now you again need to enable this edit mode and then click on actually enable edit mode and yes so now you should get an option to edit right click and edit here you will get a list of all the cars in your directory so just add the required one that is ducati so it is usually like similar to the folder name that we have added so i'm just copy pasting the folder name here you can see so when if you see there read me it will be the same information there so click on save okay so that's it i mean now we just need to start the game and um, yes obviously you need to make sure that the native trainers Install the enhanced trainer. So I'll go to the GTA Five folder quickly. Yeah, I have a shortcut for it. So here is my GTA Five folder. So I, you can see I have copied these two files here. This has the enhanced native trainer, and here is again enhanced native trainer config file. These two files just need to be copied into the GTA Five. Now I'll just start the game quickly and show you how to load things up. Also note that I have installed script hook. You can see the previous video for that. How to set up the script hook thing. So uh, I link that video too in the description. So anyways, now I'm going to start the game and show you how to spawn the car. So guys, here so you bike. can see that the game is loaded here. So now I need to press F4 on my keyboard. So once you press F4, you will see this and um, you will see a list of um, options on the left hand side so to go down press 2 on your number pad there is a number pad right on the right hand side of your keyboard so go and press 2 if you want to scroll on top press 8 now to enter the vehicles press 5 now i need to go to vehicle spawner inside this so i'll go to the option enter name manually by pressing 8 on the keyboard number pad number pad okay so i'll press that so now let's see now i had added like pista spider like before in the dlc pack so i'll show you that so once i it's already typed in so that's why i'm showing it to you so i'm pressing in enter 
so you can see that uh, car is spawned now again we are going to go press 5 now I'm going to type in Ducati 999 usually in the readme file they tell you exactly which or what has to be written here but I have not read anything so I'm just trying I hope it works so you can see that it is showing an error could not find model Ducati 999 so maybe there is a typo mistake or something I will have to quickly see the readme files as I mentioned so I will have to go outside my computer and quickly you have the Ducati 999 folder here is the readme here they have mentioned like uh, so here again I am back here so here you can see that you can spawn the bike in the in the trainer using the name triple nine so let's try it out you have the game with me and we'll open the spawning thing once again so let's type in 999 so usually it has a different name so that's why it's important to read so here you can see that the bike is spawned finally so bros that's it I showed you all the steps so bros all the important links will be linked in the video description I hope that this video is informative enough Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. Give it a big thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. See you in the next video. Peace out. Take care. I hope you have a great day ahead. Peace out.